to my home. have been wanting so long to do this home tour, but we just moved in not that long ago and we are still settling in. You'll notice when I'm giving you the tour, not all of them, my, my rooms are complete, but hey, a start is a start, right? First off, let's say hi to my husband, Sufir. He's working from home. His room is not done, we ain't going in there. Um, we could go right in through here, through the main hallway. And um, I really wanted to show you guys this piece of art. This is, you'll notice throughout my entire home, I have a lot of scarves, vintage scarves framed, and I just love this look. This is something that I picked up at uh, um, a consignment store, and I just love the colors of this scarf. It reminded me of my grandmother. A lot of what I have in my home is odes to my grandmother. And um, I, I bought it and later on when I got it framed, I noticed another really big influencer had it framed at her home and I was like, yes, maybe I'm doing something right. So yes, I love this scarf. And right in here, I just wanted to, you'll notice also in my home, there's a lot of art. I am not complete yet, but this is something that I picked up from the old farmhouse um, vintage market. And I got it framed, I absolutely love it. And this is our old house on Kamarni. A lot of great memories were made here. A lot of, this home was really good to us and there's a lot of love and light here. So I, I got it um, framed and I got artwork, uh, oil painted for my husband for our anniversary. So it's always with us. Here it is where all the magic happens. My beautiful home. I cook here a lot. We gather around this island a lot. My families, I always host. There's not a weekend or a weekday even that goes by that I'm not hosting. And there are so many great plans, so many you know future vacations planned around this island, so many times that we reminisce and talk about the good old days, even though we're in the good old days. This island is large. I really wanted a large island where we could gather around and there's seating on the other side. And I just absolutely love it. It just came together perfectly. So I knew that I wanted a really bright kitchen, but I knew that I didn't want a white kitchen. So I, it was a really hard decision for me to go from changing my mind of having white cabinets with this color. This is Benjamin Moore, Edgecomb Gray, and my designer, Christy, it's all her doing. I She's the one who picked it, and I was reluctant right from the beginning until it was installed, and I was like, wow, I love it. Along with the brass hardware from Bradford Hardware, um, I got these. I knew that I wanted a large range with a beautiful range with a large hood fan, and I knew that I wanted shelving on the other sides of it. So all I did was the same marble that we used on our countertops, we cut for shelving. And then I got these brass shelf brackets from Anthropology of all places. So there is a lot of mix of designer elements and very affordable elements in my home. It looks very well put together and polished, but honestly, there's a lot of wafer lighting in here. There are some really designer pieces as well, which I splurged on, for, but for the most part, I went for the look and I saved myself some pretty pennies, including this range. This is the focal point of my kitchen. I knew when I was building this home, I wanted a range that that was built in France, made in France, um, in Europe, anywhere, but I knew I really wanted this double uh, chrome finish, like silver on brass. Um, and all the ranges that come like this, like the bigger name brands, they're all upwards 35,000 and up. This one was a steal of a deal. I got it from Liv, also known as Holman USA. And I ordered this a year in advance. It sat in my mom's garage for a year and a half before it was installed. I absolutely love it. It has a convection oven, it has a pizza oven, it has two ovens. <laughs> it even has a rotisserie oven on the side. Um, there's so many features on here I'm and a griddle under here. There's so many features in this on this range that I'm constantly learning like, oh wow, you could do that? Oh, there's an open flame for pizza? Oh wow, I just love it. For the price, I would highly recommend it. It comes in so many colors. I should have for my next home, I am gonna do baby blue. I really wanted it. I just was too scared. I should have just did it. But nevertheless, I love it. I love the way it looks. 
Another really cool feature that I absolutely love is this pot filler. Um, I use it on a daily. This one is by Perrin and Row, but I got it from Fibertech. Um, they sell all of the designer uh, faucets and fixtures, and I've, all of, everything is from from my house is from Fibertech. Um, they're a local company, but um, this and my faucet over there. Parent and roll, I absolutely love it. And my husband and I, this is like a point of contention. He just thinks it's useless that I could actually walk from the sink with the water here. But look how cool this is. I'm constantly using it to boil pasta, make tea, anything that I possibly need. It's just such a easy convenience having it here. It was really important to me to have my appliances all built into my cabinet so it looks like cabinetry, but really behind everything, there's an appliance. I did not clean up my fridge for you guys, but yeah, this is my fridge. Um, but it's hidden and it's hidden away. This hutch of mine, I absolutely love. I got my cabinets done at Sunrise uh, Kitchens and Kaldeep was my sales agent there. He was phenomenal. He, I literally just showed him Pinterest uh, pictures. I, I would hand sketch and Christy would show her her drawings and renderings and he made it look exactly like we envisioned. He was amazing. This hutch is the reason why this kitchen is like this because I really wanted somewhere to feature and display all of my family heirlooms. Everything in here is vintage, collected over the years. I was a kid, I remember we used to eat out of that. Um, that uh, corning were set so over the years my i've collected from my mom my mother-in-law and i just absolutely love even seeing it and we use the, these dishes every single day nothing's for show everything is very functional and useful in this home and um, i just want to thank monica hibbs for giving me this idea just like all of you guys i'm obsessed with her grace acres home and one of the key features of her home is this hutch and i knew i had to have it in my home as well like everything is built in, I just don't want to see any garbage, any kind of appliances outside on the counters. Okay, we are at the favorite part of my home. I absolutely love my pantry. This and my laundry room are my little joys. Every morning when I wake up, I get to come in here. So I really wanted a pantry, which was very functional, very open, and um, something that I could, you know, display all, everything that I use on a regular, and also have it built in as accessories. So. Everything you see here, I use on a regular. None of it's for display. We actually eat that much Campbell's chicken soup because I'm always making casseroles. You guys, if you follow me on IG, you know that I love my pastas. You know I love to cook and I have all my flour in my crops. Um, I love this window here. Um, all of my plants in my entire home are from West Coast Gardens. Um, anything that you see in the house, if it's a plant, it's from West Coast Gardens. And another really cool feature is I put my microwave here built in and also, like I was saying, my appliances are hidden. These are all plugged in, my coffee maker, my toaster, it's all there, everything that I use on a daily. And in here are my, plugged in, my um, air fryer and anything else like a Instapot or something, but nothing is on the counter except for this guy because it's beautiful and aesthetically pleasing. So this little nook of mine, I know that I wanted it a part of my home, but I also wanted to feel like its own space. That's why we arched off the ceiling here and kind of enclosed it a little bit. And you'll notice this common theme in my home. All of my arches are, all of my hallways are arched. Um, this was completely inspired by Monica Hibbs' little home. I believe it's where she sells her her um, household goods. I went in there to pick the, up this little bell, like my lunchtime bell, which I do use all the time when I need my kids to come down. They might just come running now. Um, when I went to go pick that up, I saw her little nook area and I was so inspired and I thought, how amazing would it be to have this little area in my home where I could drink my coffee, soak in the sun, and really it basks in sun all day, and um, soak in some feminine energy because I live around boys all the time. My husband and kids play hockey, and there's constantly all this like talk of hockey and sports, so I purposely put beautiful paintings up reminding me like of love and happiness, and everything in my home means something to me, so this is... Um, artwork that my son drew for me when he was in grade two. Then Baby Come On was commissioned and a local artist made it for me. And that's something that me and my husband, it's a song that we love, it's a phrase from there. So, you know, when I sit here, it just reminds me of all the love and well, the gratitude that I, like, I feel having in my life. Um, and I love this little area. It's just, it's just cozy, it's warm, it's full of love. And I love this centerpiece. All, all of this is from West Coast Gardens as well. 
right off of our entry, adjacent from my husband's office, I am in my dining room. Um, this dining room, I wanted to keep it very simple. I didn't want to collaborate with a lot of art or a lot of furniture. Um, the walls, we did simple millwork throughout the entire walls and then we have this paint I believe is Benjamin Moore Rockport Grey. Um, this light, I absolutely love this light. Like I love these little quirky features about This one is from Anthropology, and it was on sale one time around Christmas and I was just looking through the home section and I got it next to nothing. And before I even had a home, I had bought this light knowing I was going to incorporate it somewhere in my home. And you'll see throughout my home I've done that a lot. I just buy the things that I love hold on to them and then when we were building I incorporated them in my home. This table is from Pottery Barn. It extends to C12. I have not furnished this room completely and my centerpieces are not done either yet but I'm happy with it. Um, we host a lot. We extend this. Usually there's a lot of gatherings, a lot of laughter in this room. So the fact that it's simple, it, I love that because we when, when it's filled with people, that's my accessory. Right off of the dining room is our bar. And I didn't want my bar to be like a main feature over there or want it to be super accessible because I do have children. And I do, even though we drink openly in this home, um, I just don't want it to be like a place that I display a lot of alcohol. So I want it to be super classy and I wanted it to be very dark. So we carried the Rockport Grey theme through from the walls to the ceiling all in here to kind of make it a little bit dark. The same tiles that I had in my backsplash in my kitchen, which are handmade artisan tiles from Ames. I ran them horizontally in here, but in black in the kitchen, they're white. And um, yeah, I just did three simple shelves, the same brackets throughout my house from Anthropology, and I just kept it gold and black. Fun fact, I bought this kitchen with, I mean, I bought this fridge, which was all black. And it's very hard to find a wine fridge that has a gold handle. So all I did was spray paint this silver handle that once was silver and gold and it now it matches everything in my bar. I absolutely love this bar. So right off of my garage is my mudroom. I absolutely love this mudroom because I love this forest green color. It is by Sherman Williams uh, Pure Green. Um, what I did in my home, because I love color, I want each room to be very colorful, but I don't really want my walls to be colorful. So what I did in this house was every single one of my cabinets in every room is a different color, if you have not noticed. But my walls are all Benjamin Moore uh, Dove White. I kept my walls all white and incorporated the colors in my cabinets and that just brings so much more life in, in, into, your, into your home. As you could see, this is another piece of art that I collected and I picked that up at the old farmhouse vintage market as well and I absolutely love that. This is actually a hand-drawn rendering of Port Moody train station and um, someone did this. I believe it was in 1986. Someone hand drew that. How amazing is that? These tiles, which you saw in my pantry, and they're also in my mudroom, um, I absolutely love them. I love the black and um, white checkered floors. However, in order to get a 12 by 12 marble look, you would have to use real marble. There's no tiles that I found, and we, me and my designer went everywhere that were 12 by 12. So what we did was we bought 12 by 24 slate tiles, took them to a custom tile shop, got them cut in half, so now they're 12 by 12, and then laid them out. Now it looks like marble on my floors for a fraction of the price. So this is my powder room, and this is also another pride and joy room. I used Sherman uh, Williams Sensible Hue. Um, I wanted it to be very kind of gloomy and a little bit dark in this room. I used wallpaper, and um, I really wanted this room to be a representation of my grandmother. And if you look closely, there's little birds and flowers everywhere because she loves birds and flowers. And once again, that's from anthropology. Even my toilet roll holder has birds and flowers. Even this mirror, um, it's a reflection of the Taj Mahal or we're Indian and you know, she loves the Taj Mahal, so I did that. She loves birds, she loves hand stitching. So th these are vintage from the old farmhouse market and this is a painting that she drew not a painting it's a hand cross stitch that she did when she was 16 years old dreaming of a better life coming to Canada or wherever she was gonna go she wasn't even married at the time but this was her dream home and here it is in my bathroom 40 years later actually 60 years later she's 70 years later she's 80 she did this <laughs> yeah that's crazy I'm not done this room yet but I want this to be all art 
from that I've collected from around my travels and just things that are very near and dear and important to me. And um, so when I travel, I pick up stuff all the time and this one day will be filled, hopefully before we sell this house, but yeah. Now entering into my living room, I get this question a lot, where is this shelf from? This is from Pottery Barn and I've had this for years now, but I absolutely love the shelf and this, this record player. Um, we love music in our home. We're constantly dancing every e evening. That's our routine. We put on our record and we just dance as a family. So this is really important to have in our living room so we could hear the music and dance to the music. We're just a dancing family. Into here, um, I absolutely love this space. I love the ceilings, how high they are. I love how big my coffee table is. I love how much room we have for seating. This sofa we got from Van Gogh. It's a custom built and we just kind of gave them the dimensions and I picked the fabric and I picked how I wanted it. I mean, my designer Christy and I, this is the only one time we kind of butted heads because she really wanted to have two sectionals here um, and like a small sofa sitting area there and aesthetically it would be very pleasing and I totally agreed with her. But I come from a really big Indian household and we entertain a lot and if my mom and dad and my siblings don't have a place to sit, there we should really bad so we did this it works out great for us we watch a lot of tv on our big screen picture frame samsung tv a lot of people ask uh, is that a television it is but it's also a picture frame tv which is awesome because you could put any painting on there as well this big um coffee table it is so sturdy um, my brother, who is 6'7", um, 250 pounds, was dancing out on this, this weekend for his birthday and nothing happens to it. It is solid wood. I absolutely love it. Restoration hardware. You guys did a great job. Uh, it was well worth the price. You guys know I love to entertain and one of the things that I really wanted in this home were these Eclipse doors because we live right by the water. And I love that sea breeze and the smell of the sea coming into our home. Also, I love indoor, outdoor living spaces. And once my landscaping is done, this is gonna be so beautiful to host and entertain out here. Because we have our wraparound patio that goes all around the home. Our outdoor dining space is gonna be there. It's obviously too close to have our fire pit and everything going. But yeah, we have a hot tub and this is all going to be fenced off. This is going to be all hedges. This is going to be very private. I cannot wait to entertain out here. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite parts of my home. I get this question a lot as well. Where are my rugs from? Every single rug in my home is from Ruggable. Um, it's because it's so high traffic and I live with boys. They're constantly spilling things. I just take it, throw it in the wash throw it in the dryer and then put it back down so ruggable has been like a gem i absolutely love all my rug rugs that's not sponsored um i just just love their product so that is pretty much it for the main floor there is more over there but we'll save that for another day and we'll also save upstairs for another day as well i just want to thank everyone for joining me for a small tour of my home i hope you guys enjoy it if you guys have any questions leave them below and um yeah I can't wait for my outside to be done and my landscaping to be finally done. Then I could finally host some parties outside and show you guys how I entertain outside. Take care.